Vertical Aerospace, a UK-based electric aviation company, has achieved a significant milestone by completing the first piloted wingborne flight of an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft in European open airspace. The flight took place at Cotswold Airport in England, marking a crucial step toward the commercialization of electric air travel. The VX4 prototype, developed under the strict oversight of the UK Civil Aviation Authority, took off, cruised, and landed like a conventional aircraft, utilizing wing-generated lift. So the, the CEO Stuart Simpson announced that the company is on track to demonstrate a full transition flight, shifting from vertical lift to forward cruise, by late 2025. He emphasized the rigorous safety and technical reviews that preceded the flight, which confirmed the aircraft's stability and efficiency through over 30,000 in-flight data points. Simpson noted the stringent regulations in Europe compared to the US, highlighting the significance of this achievement. The VX-4, piloted by Chief Test Pilot Simon Davies, demonstrated a flawless takeoff, controlled flight, and landing, reaching speeds of up to 150 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 2,000 feet. This flight represents the third phase of Vertical Aerospace's testing program, transitioning from tethered and low-speed flights to full wingborne operation. The UK Civil Aviation Authority approved the flight after a thorough review of safety documentation. Designed to carry one pilot and four passengers, the VX-4 has a range of up to 100 miles. Vertical Aerospace aims to commence commercial operations by 2028, aligning with the UK government's goal to introduce flying taxis within the same time frame.